I'm Chloe. I live in the Bay Area. I'm a senior in high school and I live with homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia. So when did you find out you had HOFH? Well, I found out at the age of five when my parents took me and my brother and sister to get tested. How was HOFH explained to you? Well, since I was diagnosed at such a young age, it was really only explained to me as something that I needed to take medicine for and watch out for and eat healthy and stuff like that. But as I grew up, it was explained more thoroughly by my doctors and my parents. How did the diagnosis change your life? The diagnosis has changed my life in a lot of positive ways. Um, I've had so many great opportunities with HOFH and I've met a lot of great people through HOFH as well. What has it felt like to live with the threat of heart disease as a child and then as a teenager? Well, as a child, again, I was young. I don't really remember it. Um, and I didn't really care or understand enough about the severity of it. So I wasn't really that bothered. And then as a teenager, as I got older and I found out what it really was and what it means and that I will live with this for the rest of my life and stuff like that, it became more serious. And yeah, but I've definitely learned how to deal with it better as a teenager. How has your life been different from other people your age? Um, I would say my life isn't too different from other people my age, um, except for the fact that, you know, I need to go to the doctors, I need to get blood work, I need to take medicines, stuff like that. How did you find the Family Heart Foundation? Well, my dad actually found it, um, and he started working with the people there, and then he shared all the information to me and my siblings and the rest of my family. What gives you hope for the future? What gives me hope for the future is that I know that people are constantly advancing our medicines and our treatment options and eventually there will be something for everybody out there.